this is a Permobil F5 standing power chair. Permobil F5 VS standing power chair. The VS stands for vertical standing, vertical, sta vertical standing. So this power chair here is a uh, 2016 power chair. This power chair was driven for about a year and a half. It does have 367 miles, which is about right for having been used for about a year, year and a half. It's an early 2016. It's in excellent condition. Everything works as it should on it. It's fully loaded. It has the standing feature. It has the 14-inch uh, seat lift. It has the electric tilt, the electric recline, the legs are electric, and it's got the interior tilt, which will sit you, sit you forward to help you get out a little bit. I think it's a 15% uh, anterior tilt, which helps you go forward. It has the headlights. It has the chest belt, the regular belt. It has the attendant control in the back. <clears throat> you can work all the function on this chair from the joystick, or if you have a person helping you, they can work all the function from the back. They can drive the chair from the back, or they can run the function through the box back here. There's also a box back here that they can run all the functions with. The first thing I'm going to show you, <clears throat> I'm actually going to move the chair forward, and we're going to do the electric seat lift right now, the 14-inch seat lift. So the seat lift right now, I'm going to work it from the box back here. And this box can be moved back behind the joystick if we have to. It can be put back here if we have to. The person who had this chair had a back there because they did a lot of the uh, driving behind the chair. So this is your 14-inch seat lift on your F5. This is a very nice seat lift. The nice thing about this seat lift is that uh, you've got three points. Most seat lifts only have one single seat post, but with these new power chairs, You've got the armature here, the armature on this side, and you have a post over this. You really have a three-point seat lift, which takes a lot of the wobble off your seat. The nice thing about this chair also, when the seat is elevated, you can still drive this chair. Now, of course, it's going to be, it's going to be at a reduced speed. Let me see if I can go on profile number two. If it goes, yeah. So if you go to profile number two, it doesn't turn very fast. Profile number two, you, you can still drive the chair with the seat elevated at a much reduced speed, of course, for safety purposes, because you are sitting 14 inches off the ground. While we have the seat elevated, we're going to talk about the drive wheels. We have 14-inch drive wheels over here, and you have caster wheels in the back. The wheels were changed on this chair. Uh, they weren't that bad, but the back wheels had chunks missing because if someone goes up a ramp into a, 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 a minivan ramp, one of those fold customized then you don't hit the ramp properly you will chunk up so there was chunks missing on the back tires so we replaced the drive tires and the back tires That's the only thing we did just replace the tires so these are new tires on here and this is the heavy duty tires in the back by the way so now also on this chair you've got double suspension you got a suspension here for the front suspension and you got a suspension back in here for the back suspension this suspension is adjustable by turning this ring here. If you turn the ring counterclockwise, it'll tighten up the springs. You can do it on both sides. You've also got two motors, one for each wheel. To put this chair in neutral, the only thing you have to do, you have a lever that's behind the motor here. You have one for each side. Push it down, and you're in neutral. Push it back up, and you're back in gear. So if you have to push the chair, push both of these levers down, and then you can push your chair. Make sure the power is off when you put it in neutral, you will get some resistance. So this is your um, electric seat lift. So whenever you put the chair in neutral, you have to reset the joystick. Now I'm gonna bring the seat back down. Also this chair is equipped with a safety belt. It's got a Rojo cushion on the seat, which we'll talk in a few minutes. The arms are adjustable up and down for easy access. You have lateral support here that can be moved away from the chest if you want to, uh, or they can be completely taken off, and they can be adjusted in or out depending, depending how you want. The joystick is a swing away joystick. The joystick can be put on the, on the right, or it can be transferred to the left. There's no problem at all with that. The next thing I'm going to show you is the electric, uh, the electric tilt. This would be your electric tilt.
Now some of these uh, standings here, the tilt doesn't go very far, but this one seems to be going quite a bit. Let's see how far this one's going to go. So this is the full electric tilt. So this is your electric tilt, and we're bringing it back forward. As I said, I can do all these functions through the joystick also if I wanted to, but it's quicker for me to do it through here. Since this is a long video and a chair like this, this video is 15 minutes almost. So now I've got the seat back down to normal. This chair also has what's called interior tilt, but an interior tilt means now the seat is flat, it'll also go forward. Let me see if it'll do it. There we go. This is called the interior tilt. Now the seat is raising up also now, but you can see how the seat went up probably 10% forward to help you get out. That's called the interior tilt. I'm going to bring it back down, back down to level. And that's your tilt for back. And that'll be your front tilt. The next thing I'm going to show is the electric recline. Oh, I'm sorry. This is still the so many buttons on here. I should know better by now. All right, so now the electric recline. There we go. I should know these buttons with my eyes closed. This is your electric recline. <clears throat> and we'll see how far this recline goes here in a minute. So it's not a full recline, but it's a, it's a good recline. And you've also got your electric legs also in front. I will bring it back up. You have electric legs up front. So you can be reclined and have your legs up. And these legs are adjustable. We can adjust the length of these legs depending on your height and weight. So you got full legs in front of you. The only thing I want to see if this chair will tilt while it's uh, reclined. Let me just see if that will happen or not. Yeah. So you can you can uh, you can get your legs to go even higher than your body if you wanted to. You can also do that. As I said, this chair has. It's not missing anything, that's for sure. So it's got that. And now, let me get my brain together here. I'm going to bring the legs back down. I'm going to bring the seat back up with two buttons at one time. <coughs> bring the legs back down. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is the standing feature. Now when you do the standing feature, you're going to have to put the knee brace on. This is your knee brace, which is adjustable. You can adjust the, uh, the height of this knee brace. There's an adjustment here. It just snaps in the front right here, in front of your knees. And you've also got your chest belt here. So if you're in the chair and you're going to raise up, make sure your belt is on and your knee brace is on. And the only thing you have to do is hit the button that shows the seat lift going up straight up. Now it goes, it, it does it in several different <clears throat> sections. It goes back, it goes up, and it does it in several different motions. So you'll see it going up right now. Very quiet chair for having so many moving parts. And this is, would be, we're almost there here. It'll take you from a sitting position to a standing position. So this would be, this would be your standing position. And you could have your, your, uh, your chest move forward if you want to a little more. Let me see something else here. So this would be your standing position. Now, if we, if you also can drive this chair in a standing position. So if I turn the chair around here, you can drive this chair in a standing position back and forth. It's definitely going to be at a reduced speed, of course. So this is your standing position. So if you need to be elevated, you need to do. Uh, if you need a chair with a standing position. Uh, this is a beauty. This is the latest in technology that Permobil came out with about two years ago. Uh, this, is, this chair has everything, as I said. So I'm going to bring the seat back down as I talked a little bit more about the arms. As I said, the arms can be elevated out of the way. 
So if you need to transfer from the side on your sliding board, if you're transferring from your bed, and the side legs can be removed also by loosening them up, they can also remove so there's nothing obstructing you when you get in. So I'm bringing the seat back down to a sitting position. As you can see, the front wheels came off the ground when that seat is back in sitting position. The front wheels were on the ground when the seat was elevated. So these front wheels went all the way to the ground when you were driving it earlier, when it was in a standing position. As I said, this chair has so many little things on it. So let me turn it forward here. Show you the front. I'm going to take the knee brace off. There's a little, little, little uh, handle that you push out to get the seat thing off. Now this is this seat here is 20 by 20. This is a 20 by 20. This is a Rojo cushion. The $400 cushion right here. It does come. It does come with an air pump. You, there's a valve here. You can plug your pump right into the valve right here. Then you unscrew the valve to open the air. Then you can pump. You can pump your cushion. Screw the valve back closed. Pull your rubber nose off. The uh, pull your rubber pump off. So this is an air cushion. If you don't like this cushion, you can take it off. Put your own cushion on. If you want an air cushion, a uh, J cushion, or a foam cushion, or a gel cushion, that's up to you. It does have the chest belt, like I mentioned earlier, 20 by 20 C. It does have a UB port back here, so you can charge your cell phone right here, under here. It does have that. Uh, <clears throat> the headrest is fully adjustable. You have your anti-tip wheels in the front. You've also got headlights on this chair, so you can see the lights in the front are on now. And you've also got lights, tail lights in the back, and you've also got, I think you've got flashing lights in the back, flashing lights in the front. I'm going to turn the chair back around again one more time. You've got an attendant control back here, so you can drive this chair from back here. You can do all the function for the seating system back here, and you can drive the chair and do all your function from these two apparatus right here. You've got hooks over here if you want to carry a bag. You've got a fully adjustable headrest over here with several positioning. Also back here on your F5, you've got an on and off button right here. Uh, there's an on and off button to turn the power off on this chair, so if you're going to ship it or you're going to transport, you just go in here and flip it, it'll turn the power off. You've got anchor points in the back. You can see one here. You can see one here. There's two in the back, two in the front. So if you need to secure your chair down, that's a fantastic way to secure in it. If you need to adjust the arm, the tilt on the arm, you just turn these cylinders, unscrew them, turn the cylinders up or down, depending which way you want your arms to go, and then relock them so there's no, so there's no, no way of the, your arms getting off where you had them. So, You've got that, you've got everything on this chair. Um, I think I've covered just about everything on the chair. The chair does take two batteries. These are, these are uh, group, um, I think they're group 75 amp batteries. It takes two of them. If you need to charge the chair, the only thing you have to do is take your charger, plug it in the bottom of the joystick, and as soon as the charger, the light on the charger turns green, you're fully charged. The charger will recognize when the batteries are full, and the charger will turn off automatically. This chair comes with the knee brace, the pump, all the manual. It comes with its own toolkit, um, owner's manual for the F5. Everything is included in the chair. Everything from the um, <clears throat> from the beginning, from the factory, is with the chair. The uh, owner's manual. The knee brace, everything, this chair is ready to go. So if you want a fantastic chair, it does have 386 miles, which is nothing for a permobile. Uh, this is the F5. It'll go seven and a half miles an hour outside on mode number two, on, on uh, profile number two, it'll go seven and a half miles an hour. So you'll get about 15 miles on the battery charge. As I said, it takes two 75 amp, 75 amp group 24 deep cycle batteries. So if you want the top of the line in Permobil standing power chair, there you go. This one is ready to go.
is such a smooth riding power chair. When I was going seven and a half miles an hour going by, it almost felt like it was riding on a cushion of air. That's how smooth it is. The suspension and the air ride, uh, you will notice when you buy a permabil. But this one has a double suspension. It has uh, all sorts kinds of extra. Uh, it rides the way it should. The motors are perfect. The chair stops straight. It turns good. It's a little bit slow turning right now when I turn in a circle, but I can speed that up with no problem with my computer. But uh, this is a one-of-a-kind power chair. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We are a family-owned business for over 20 years. Thank you for watching this presentation. We have several other models available. If you have any questions, please call the number below, 800 677 6293. Thank you again for watching.